So as you may remember from our other garden video, we have a really bad flooding problem. Our ground is clay and it holds the water at the top, so I had to get in and work this mud around and let this water have a way to get out of the garden. Since it was so bushy gushy, I really could just go in with my feet and move around a path. It absolutely killed my legs though. I intermittently used a hoe or a shovel to clear out some dirt paths. I started on the driest spot just so it would be the easiest, but you can really see how hard this was to move through. But I just kept working my way around, knowing eventually I was going to have to get into this very flooded area and it was going to be very difficult to try to get all of this water drained out of the garden. Leave in the comments down below what you think about this sound. <laughs> my footprints are going to be everywhere in this garden. I'm really just trying to go over everything and give every piece of ground away to canal out its water because you could see the mounds are almost all completely underwater so we were very lucky to get those mounds but sadly the strawberries were completely submerged so that was something that was utmost priority so here i'm just starting to work and big in, digging out a tunnel to let that water be able to flow through it it took a lot of work though I'm really curious the amount of water that we actually drained out of this garden because it was so much flow that it just kept going all the way down into our yard. The water was halfway up my calves in most places. That is so much water. This would be the perfect habitat for certain animals. Can you just imagine it? Crawdads or frogs? Who could guess? That's one perk about our property is we find crawdads all the time. We see their holes in our backyard where they push all the mud up and create a little tunnel. They're very unique. I always seem to find the critters and I always have to hold them. Whether it's a frog, a crawdad, or a snake, you can bet I'm picking it up. <laughs> Water is still flowing and so much water has already come out. It really is amazing how much water this garden was holding. The strawberries had the worst of it. Bless their hearts, they were submerged. So I just moved the mud around and tried to build up those mounds around the strawberries to give them a little bit of an island to barrier against all this water. Looks like somebody had an accident. It is so crazy how different it looks now that it's drained.
Now that the garden is finally drained and I'm covered in mud, time to put up the tools, go grab our little friendly crawdad in his bucket, and go get washed off with the water hose. And sweet Desi the Havanese had to stop in to say hi. And yes, I have an iPad in my pocket. Is there a crawdad in your water bowl? What's in your water bowl? What's in your water bowl? I wonder what they were smelling when they sniffed so hard. Our dogs are definitely not killers. He won't even hurt a fly, let alone a crawdad. Zion was searching hard for that crawdad in this water though. He loves blowing bubbles and putting his nose under. This has just become Zion's personal swimming pool. Zion was being such a dork, and since it was so hard to see the crawdad, we turned it into a game where we all circled around this pond and tried to see who could find the crawdad. There it is. It's 